Well, hello there. There we go. <laughs> Master Hellish here. That's loud, isn't it? Welcome to our Monday night live stream. Hello, we're a bit uh, framey. Let me fix that. Hey, uh, yeah, there we go. Everything's fine. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> if it helps, I watch about every third video. Just don't usually comment. Hello, Crimson Coda. Welcome. Oh, dear. Well, it's a Monday. It's the start of the week. It's a live stream. And tonight, I've set myself a challenge. I'm going to be trying to get as much profit as possible. Now, I know generally that's the idea of a business simulation game like this, yeah? But, you know, I've got a bit of a take, a bit of a slant, some kind of restrictions and guides that I've set myself. But we'll check that out soon. The gameplay will start in a, just over six minutes time. So if you're watching live, you can get yourself a cup of tea or something like that. Uh, or put your feet up, stretch back and get ready for the show. If you're not watching live, you may want to fast forward and that's the timer you can use. But hi, Brandon. Nashorn, welcome to the stream above the line. Kellen and everybody else who's joining, joining us, joining us. I've got a little folder inside my recording folder, and every time I do a take for a recording and something goes wrong, I just drag it into that folder. It's full of outtakes. Maybe I'll just dump them on the viewer plus subscribers sometime, eh? They get a bit of extra behind the scenes stuff, because you know. This content is supported by Viewer Plus. Oh yes, yes, indeed. Managed to get uh, yourself a powered USB hub. I don't think I've got any... I don't use any powered USB hubs. I think I have some. I think they changed stuff. Um, Yeah, I can't remember. In the USB standards, which meant you you need powered less. Uh, anyway, <laughs> outtakes when? I don't know, Brandon. There is, a, uh, there is a section on the website for just, like, bonus videos for Viewer Plus. So um, my core content is free, and I intend for it always to be that way. But there are some nice little bonuses for the Viewer Plus subscribers. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you a, a sneak peek. So if you log into the website and you're Viewer Plus, you get an extra mini menu so you can see the information for the Discord, the game servers, and the sign-up information, and the videos. And you know what? Uh, yes, I can share this with you. This is what it looks like. So you can see here that uh, I've got like a, an unboxing of a couple of components that I've bought. The... Um, capture card that captures that camera for these live streams uh, I did an unboxing of that I had some footage left over from the uh, Wally Mad uh, model railway exhibition in 2022 I took a load of footage didn't really do anything with it so I just dumped the footage into a video and just gave it to the viewer plus subscribers like here you go um, so yeah I mean and, and then when I, I, I actually recorded myself editing a video once uh, and then gave that to them as well. So there we go. Um, but yeah, um, and there's there's a few different bits and bobs in there. In fact, there's quite a few videos in here now. Uh, but welcome to Viewer Plus. God, that was at the old house. Yeah. My GTA garage. Yeah, none of these are... What's the word? Like, none of them are kind of like full-length content. Uh, really. I don't think so, anyway. Um, oh, wow. Is that me testing how long it takes me to load my SSD? Oh, and I used World of Warcraft to benchmark it? Anyway, if you are a Viewer Plus subscriber, thank you. There are a whole bunch of videos here. Oh, here you are. Yeah, look. The Lost Review. So, basically, I recorded a review, never used the footage for some reason... So I dumped it here for the viewer plus subscribers. <laughs> are you hosting your, them yourself, not YouTube? No, they are on YouTube and they are then presented via the website. 
Anyway, thank you very much to all 62 Viewer Plus subscribers. And uh, thank you very much to everybody who's popping down for a chat and a game tonight. Now, bit of news, which I think I announced before, but just to make sure everybody knows. Um, so, tonight will be the only normal live stream of the week. We will not be doing a normal live stream on Thursday. That is because on Friday and Saturday, we have three live streams from a LAN party. So we're going to do some LAN party streams. Uh, now, the last LAN party I went to, it was all very experimental, and we didn't have very good bandwidth, and the setup wasn't great for me. It was a nice LAN party, but it just didn't work. Uh, this one I've been to before. I'm actually the guy doing the network. I know it's going to be all good. So, um, no problem there, eh? No problem there. Uh, why did we get onto the subject of... I don't know if there was any particular subject about the Viewer Plus. Uh, while you're over on the website checking out Viewer Plus, you can also check out the information for this year's charity event. It's all on there. It's the mid-year triple open DTD charity live stream. It's going to be great. Uh, Brennan says, playing farming sim for three days. We, last time we was at that LAN party... Uh, Jackamac was there with uh, with me and a couple of others, and um, we did we did play a lot of farming sim. But we're not going to be doing that this time. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to be playing, but we will see. Um, now, uh, speaking of playing games, after this live stream, we've got a uh, a uh, after stream gaming party on Discord. So, if you want to come and watch us play PUBG, uh, you're welcome to come over and do so. Uh, who is banned from all the coke in? It was Jackamac who accidentally sprayed half the LAN party with coke. Yes. With cola, I should say. Yep. <laughs> hey, Graham. We all doing well? Uh, I was unwell last week, again. We've had a lot of unwellness about the family recently. Uh, but we're battling through it. I'm doing better. And so is everybody else at the moment. So hopefully, hopefully we're going into a more calmer period of non-unwellness. So there we go, folks. Uh, live streams are a little bit different this week. Uh, yes, the information for the charity event of the year is on the website. Um, there's going to be some LAN party streams this weekend. They are both listed in Discord and listed on my YouTube channel. And Fran the Man will be coming to watch PUBG later. Fran the Man likes to watch, watch us play PUBG. Um, Will the Spiff and Brit be coming to the party? Uh, no. Uh, Spiff is not one of the people on the list for uh, this year's LAN party. <laughs> I, that reminds me, actually. At some point, I do need to message Spiff. Um, but there's the timer gone. So let's jump into Transport Fever and, and load our game. So tonight, like I said, I'm going to be maximising profit. But I'm going to be trying to do it in a certain way. Okay, so the way that I'm going to attempt to do it is that I am going to try and get as much profit, income, as possible by spending the money I have on existing things. Okay, so we're not going to have... The idea is we're not going to have any new lines. We are going to improve, upgrade, fix, expand... All of those things. And hopefully, it'll be fantastic. Uh, Fran the Man says, at least you don't have to buy breakfast for the LAN party. That, <laughs> right. So, um, in the, I think it was the last... Um, in the last... The last time we played PUBG, we won three out of the last four games. And we were playing a fifth game. And I was like, if we win this one, I'll buy everybody breakfast at the LAN party. Um, <laughs> but we came second. So I don't have to buy everybody uh, breakfast. Here we go. We're in game. We're in game, everybody. Here we go. Uh, as, as as usual, uh, I'll say hello to Cam 2. Uh, there's Cam 2. Hello. Uh, Cam 3 is not in operation tonight. Cam 3 is on the shelf. Needs charging. We don't need Cam 3 for much, do we? Cam 3, like, if I've got something in particular to show you, or we're doing a special sort of live stream, then there we go. Uh, right, what's going on? Um, wow, this loads this fast. It takes like 10 minutes for me. It's 
is I've got a relatively good rig. If you want to know more about my computer, it is listed on the about page of my website, masterhellish.net. Um, we played five, won three, and came second twice. That is right, Brandon. I don't know how many games we'll get into tonight, but we'll see. Right then, um, why have we gone back to cam, th uh, cam one? There we go. So, let's do a very quick recap last time. Last time we built this. There, there's actually the screenshot for the live stream. Something along these lines. Train whistle? Oh yes, we, let's have a train whistle for the start of the live stream, shall we? I suppose I better remember to take that to the LAN party. <laughs> the rest of the people at the LAN party would be like... <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so um, for anybody paying attention... There is the screenshot for the start of the live stream. Uh, this is uh, Chief Mechanic Island, named after Chief Bograp, one of the ViewerPlus subscribers. One of the uh, benefits of ViewerPlus is I use your names in the game. Um, upgrading engines, yes, Nasson. Upgrading engines is exactly, exactly one of the things we're going to be doing. So. Yeah, we, in, we uh, added this island, which is kind of like a interchange transfer station. So the, uh, the machine parts come all the way from down here. Do you want me to annotate? Machine parts. Oh, I've learned how to do new stuff. I, knew, I learned new key bindings, so I can do arrows like that. Isn't that cool? So um, that is where the main sh machine shop is. Okay, and the trains come along this track down here uh, to nope to this island see look I can do squares now if I want to I can highlight it in yellow too boing um, yeah and um, and then from that island they go out to these locations so um, they go uh, let's try it in blue they go to these uh, three towns. And that's pretty much what we set up last time. We kind of finished setting that up and got that all working. Okay, cool. Infernal Badger, welcome to the stream. So, I think we're going to try and get, like, easy wins first. Like, we're going to look for problems and then try and fix them and then look for improvements and things like that. Okay, now money's a little tight, but also... Oh, I did take out a massive loan. Okay, I've just repaid a little bit of loan, and it's at 10 million. Let's not take out any more than that 10. Let's leave it at 10, pay off some if we can. If we can't, that's fine. But if I remember correctly, right at the end of the last live stream, in this wood area here, we got a second set of trains... Yeah, here we go, look. Look at this. Oh, hang on. One of these tracks is electrified and one of them isn't. How strange. Well, they'll all need to be electrified at some point, so we'll have to go across and upgrade them. Uh, but they don't need to be at the moment. We haven't got any. There we go. And here's the other wood train that we purchased right at the end of the last live stream. Okay. Which is where most of our money went, because we bought two of them. Now, as a result of that, I think we're probably getting wood stacking up here, look. We're getting quite a lot of planks. There is a ship about to come in. So I think... Let's have a look at the transportation. Oh, transportation's at 100. Hmm. Maybe we don't need another ship then. How much does each ship carry? 70. And there's 42 there already. Okay. Maybe we don't need a ship for now. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Hi, Max. Uh, 
Uh, there we go. Right then. Um, what was I doing? Oh yes. So we're checking over here. Well, that looks all fine as well. Right then. So I don't think anything is broken. Let's have a look at some of the finances and things. Oh, that's a good reminder, Infernal Badger. If you want to play exactly the same map, you can do. Okay, we know what the seed is. We said it in the beginning of the first live stream, so that's all good. Uh, let's pause the preview of the live stream because it's doing my eyes in. Right, line statistics. We'll have a quick look at this now. We did some modded cargo planes. Oh, that is cheating a little bit, isn't it? Okay, so if we order this by balance, we've only got one line that's not doing very well. We might need to fix that, so let's go over and take a look. Ah, yes, I remember now. So what we did was we uh, modified both this food line. Let's get into lines view. There we go, that's easier to look, isn't it? Or relatively. Uh, we modified these lines here so that we would service both of these towns even though it wasn't efficient to. So we've got a load of, I think, fuel trucks and things starting to come this way. Though they're all horse and carts, aren't they? It might be a good idea to see if we could upgrade them and fix that. Okay, let's go to the vehicle manager. And this is going to be the party food service. We have 20 horse and carts. Okay, so what if we do a replace on all the vehicles? And we replace them with this one. Okay, now from what I can tell, I mean, I don't know the statistics of these. Let's have a look. So it can carry four cargo. The new one would be able to carry seven, and it would be able to do it going a lot quicker. Um, 40 kilometers per hour compared to 18. We probably wouldn't need so many vehicles either. So before we do the upgrade, let's actually cut down the amount of vehicles by selling five of them. Let's have a look. Have we actually got stuff um, piling up? We've got some bread piling up. And we've got a relatively amount, large amount of wheat piling up. The station's overloaded with it as well. It is a very small station, if I remember correctly. Yep, tiny station. Hey, Tim, and welcome. Welcome to the stream. Um... So let's see how much it would cost to actually then replace all of these. Uh, 1.2 million. I mean, we have 1.2 million. But will we need all 15? I'm going to say yes. Let's have a little bit of a gamble on that. Boom. Changed. And the other one on this route is the uh, fuel route. Again, we've got 30 vehicles, but they're slow and tiny. I, but also, again, like the station is absolutely overloaded with barrels and oil. So... Yeah, I... We don't need 30. Let's get rid of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we're going to sell them. We didn't get a lot of money for selling them. And then upgrade. It's going to have to be to this one. Now, we haven't got the 1.6 million needed. Um... But what I'm hoping is that we see both of these start jumping up the leaderboard. So look out for this yellow one, the party food service, and this red one, the brand and fuel service, okay? They should, in theory, both start jumping up the list. 
in terms of amounts of money that they're making or at least not be sat there at the bottom making nothing. So we've got 52,000 and minus a good amount. Build sheds at the stations. I mean, in theory though, if I've got enough vehicles servicing it, will do I really need to be able to store more at the station, that's all? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, back to what we were doing. We were looking at these road vehicles and it's gonna cost uh, a little bit more than what we've got to be able to do the upgrade, so. Just going to do a little bit of fast forwarding, I think. In theory, oh no, that's not good. We just had to pay our month. Oh, whoa, something, some money came in there. Come on, just a little bit more. Yes, there we go. Right, replace all of them. Now that might be too many, or it might not. But yeah, we've we've got one station that has more to give than the others. I feel like we should do them at separate platform platforms platforms and it might work better so if we configure this and put another cargo platform in and then not configure this but configure mm, no uh, how do I do it there we go manage the line every time we come to the exchange we go to a different terminal like that It helps if the vehicles are bunched up. That's a good point, it does. I will consider that shortly. So I think that will help the situation. Because then not both things will be piling up on the same platform. We need to do that at both, all of these places actually, come to think of it. Can't you make the terminals longer? Yep, that's one thing we could do. It's quite expensive. Having vehicles that can take twice as much and over double the speed should help. Yes. I want to see how that affects things first, Fran the Man, before we then look at adding um, sheds on the stations, like, um, like Nas Horn says. Uh, so we've added that, so we can come back in here and manage the line and at the other branch we will use the other platform oh it's not a platform it's a terminal there we go terminal three what you already have two why do you build a third one uh, for flow i don't want it over here i mean i could get rid of it uh i'm not sure if the flow would be nice like that or not let's have a look see here i don't want them crossing over like that Because ideally what we'll do is we'll expand it and they'll be coming in one way and out the other. And if we're going to do that, I want them all going around in the same direction. So if they're all going to be going around the same direction, we're going to do it like that. So you're right. There's no point really in having that other platform. I don't know if it actually costs maintenance. Um, if it does, I should really come in here with a bulldozer. Get rid of it. Uh, and again, we'll just... Oh, oh, look, I think we've already done it here. Ah, we have. Okay, let's configure this. They do not have collision inside the terminals. Really? Oh. Well, that is interesting. I didn't know that. I mean, I'm still going to do it for these ones. Just in case we want things going in and out, flowing nicely. Florian, going good. Radchuk, hello, good evening. Welcome, everybody watching on uh, YouTube tonight. Let's go over to Twitch and see how many thousands of people are watching us live on Twitch right now. Um, I, I don't even have stats for that. Hang on a minute. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> you put me off. Right then, um, let's get this sorted out. App shows five people. Oh, thank you, Twitch. Yeah, I do stream at a higher bit rate and a higher resolution to YouTube. So if you want to come over, I'm not going to complain. Right, uh, again, similar situation over here. I'm going to just do it on this island. Uh, it might improve things. It might not. It's a bit of an experiment. It's a bit of a let's do it and see sort of. No, wait. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, west one and two. There we go. Oh dear. This one, it's a bit weird because it's it's two different stops for the same thing. And we've actually got an in and an out configured for this one. Um, there we go. So while I'm doing this, has anybody got any suggestions for other upgrades or changes we can make to these lines? There we go. Nice. Okay. That's a drop off. That's fine. Those two have been done. Those two have been done. The extra one's been done and the drop off down there. Good. Okay. So these have been running for a little while now. Not for a long period of time, but let's have a look at the lines. Okay. Party food has sh Wow. Party food was negative 30 odd thousand. It's now a quarter of a million. Um, never mind. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So hopefully the fuel service will do the same thing instead of being absolutely terrible. I wonder why the fuel service is like that. I mean... We do still have loads of fuel sat around. Like, here we go. We've got barrels here and barrels there, but presumably they're loading. Look, they're now queuing because they're all going to the same one. Maybe it's... Maybe it's because they're all on the same part of, the, of their journey and they need to spread out still. Okay, well, we'll leave them for a little while and see how it goes. Let's check on our wood. Here we go. How much wood have we got? We've got a lot of wood. Look, 71 wood and the ship just left. We definitely need more on this line. So if we go to manage vehicles, we're going to clone the selected vehicle. Hopefully that vehicle will come out and go to the right place in the right direction. Let's find out. Where's it going to go? There we go. It is going in the right direction. Nice. Oh, it just flipped around. So did the camera. Good. Okay, that's going well. There uh, we are. So, I, like I said before, I don't think we've got any problems. Are these horses and cart? No, they're modern ones. Maybe we should look at the vehicles and see which ones are the oldest. Which ones are in the worst condition. So the trains. The trains on the main line are the worst ones. We've also got the bus services. Yeah, we need to upgrade the bus services. Let's do the bus services first because we've got the money for that. So if I click managed vehicles, we've got seven vehicles. I've got a funny feeling if we replace these for newer, better vehicles, we won't need seven. So let's sell two of them first. Then select them all and replace. So we want the best passenger vehicle. I mean, these two are the same, except one of them goes a lot quicker and faster. Costs more money. So there we go. And then we've got five on this line. Let's get those five upgraded. Nice. 
Then there's the Anvil Bus Service. Again, another five. We can afford that. Loads quicker. Yeah, loads loads a lot quicker. I mean, we can't even see how slow the existing one does, I think. Let's have a look. Details. Loading speed. One time speed. These are loading at two times speed, presumably because people potentially can get on the front and the back. Or maybe they just throw them on. Um, boom. There we go. We've got how many here? Six? That's not right. Let's let's get five. And then replace them all. Money's a little low, but we're okay. Uh, where's the vehicle list gone? Was it the vehicle list we was looking at? It was. We've got the jet... The jab bus. Is that not meant to be the... What's this? Hang on a minute. Where's this? Oh, it's in Jebula City. Right. I forgot the name of the city then for a moment. Others don't reach the top speed in the city. Interesting. But it has other advantages too. So we're going to go for it. We should watch the rate. Uh, yes, we need to look at rates in a second. So, uh, not the line manager. Vehicle manager... Select all the vehicles and boop, there we go. We've been needing to do these upgrades for a while now. We've got some older vehicles here, but they are not that bad. Oh, some of them are bad. Some of them are bad. I don't know. We do need to um, save up to replace the trains, though. That ship's doing all right now. Now I got rid of the sh the uh, the sister ship. Here we go. There were two ships going, and we were making a loss. And I deleted one of them, and now everything's fine. Let's have a look at uh, the line manager. Now, who said something? What should watch the rate? Here we go. Look at these rates. I can't remember what the rate is. Or is there some sort of, I'm gonna to have to have a look online. Uh okay. Right, help understanding the right. Just think of the rate as being each pair of stops on the line. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the rate is. Let's see. Rate. Look, I'm I'm examining the rates and the different things. Um I mean, I did. I spent money. I mean, if you look at the vehicles themselves, uh, look at the details. Right, not the. Uh, I don't know why. Well, let's have a look at the comparison. Is there a comparison? Vehicles. Uh, let's just have a look at buying vehicles. Here we go. So one of them has um, better loading speed. One of the uh, and it has lower emissions. It does cost a little bit more each year, and it's cheaper the other one. Maybe I'm not so sure. Here we are. We, we, we we're trying to figure out the rate. It's either one of those things that I've never needed to use, or I used to know and then forgot. Let's have a look. Check so kid found out what the rate indicates the average yearly amount of cargo and passengers that's transported per station. Oh, there's a there's a speed limit in the cities. Well, that's terrible. That's terrible. 
Right then. Um, let's have a look at the stations. Station statistics. This is the one that I go to um, in OpenTTD a lot. And you can see which ones are overloaded. Um, brand and transfer. Okay, let's see how that line's doing now. Okay. Um, so there we go. You can now see that the brand and fuel service and the party food are both doing good money. Uh, some of the bus services are not doing so great. So maybe we do need to modify that a little bit. Maybe we do need to get the cheaper buses. Now would be a good time to change it. Um, wow. The Jack Mac is, or it was, doing the most. Um, two little trains there. Maybe we ought to make them longer. Yeah, some of the buses are now losing money. They, were, they weren't much of a moneymaker to begin with. So we'll keep a close eye on that. We'll come back to it soon. Make, maybe make a, uh, an adjustment. Um, hmm. Yeah, everything else is looking pretty good. Frequency. The main line is actually the worst one on frequency. Oh no! Hi, welcome. Hi, it's going good. It's going good. We're trying to make things better. Um, I wonder, is there is there a graph of like income? I don't think there is. I think there's a graph of something else. I don't even know if the. Uh, let's have a look. There's charts, but that's like. Oh, it is your income versus your expenditure. So if we ignore the expenditure and just look at the income. And I think that's the year we're currently in. Yeah, so if you ignore that first one, you can see that before the live stream really started, we were pretty steady with the income. We had a big one here for some reason. I, I don't know why I manually drew that arrow. I can do it like this. Um, let's switch to pink. And then over the last few years... Um, it's uh, it shot up. No, not down. <laughs> it's uh, it's shot up. There you go. So in theory, though expenditures boomed. We need yes, that's a good point actually. If we if we improve the speed of the trains, then they um, then we might not need so many trains. But I like lots of trains. Uh, there's lots of things I like, including lots of trains. Uh, right, that's vehicle statistics. That can go away for a second. Line statistics. Let's just check that again. Yeah, look at that. Bus services are now not doing well. Okay. So, the the gamble on these buses w was not good. Okay, we're going to save some money. And we're going to... No, not manage vehicles. Oh, yeah, manage vehicles. And we're going to swap them for the cheaper vehicle that doesn't go as fast because it doesn't need to. Oh, that was just one. There we go. And... The next bus service. Oh, we need to name something after a, a viewer plus subscriber. So, um, if anybody wants to choose something, we'll spin the wheel. Oh, and uh, the live streams on Friday and Saturday, because they're party streams, we're probably going to do an extra giveaway or two. Um, then... We've got to do this line, the Timman bus service. And the Jab bus. Click the right button. There we go. Right. So we've downgraded those vehicles to cheaper vehicles that will be cheaper to run and maintain. But they still go fast enough for the city services. And they still carry the same amount of passengers. Okay. 
we now got 4.2 million in the bank account and if we look at the lines hopefully these ones will improve quite soon the logs are doing really good now in fact they're all doing pretty good I think it's about time that we looked at those trains shall we okay let's have a look what if we, re we need to replace the train let's have a look at uh, the steam trains so we've got the option of really these three steam trains okay now if we look at the first one it's 60 mile an hour then 100 km oh, kilometers an hour sorry and then 90 so the one at the bottom is slightly sl slower um i th and then why would you ooh, okay that's interesting Th looking at these two they are relatively comparable except one is much more expensive tinman says what did i hear i have a bus service um is there a town directory are you in, are you in this one i can't remember off the top of my head maybe chat can say um yeah we got old tim town uh i don't do you have a bus service yeah hey are you not only do you have a bus service but you have a town name app named after you with a dock and your own private island how cool is that hey eh? anyway back to upgrading those trains where were they where are they? Uh, where's the mainline trains? There's the mainline trains. Okay. Um, I agree. The A35 does look the best one because it goes a lot faster. It's, a, it's much more expensive, though. The running costs are triple. This one is cheaper and... If running costs are about half why would I not go for the 75 it's your holiday destination yeah just needs a mansion on a hill overlooking the town city tell you what I will do I will build a little a uh, little hill at the back of the city here just for Tinman there we go and on the top of that hill, I will put uh, a nice little bench so Tinman can climb up the hill and look look over the city. Oh, gold. I don't know if I can do this. There we go. I mean, there's grass. There's too much grass. Let's get rid of the grass. Um, brush size. Oh, is, that looks a bit weird. That hill now. What about? If, oh no! Oh no! That's that's too grassy. I've got a furry hill now. Although it looks better than the white. Hang on. Right. Can I do something about the tip? What if we make the brush size tiny and just? Like, use that as if we've got a lawnmower. This is, this is like the hardest thing I've done on this game in ages. I, I think that might have to do. There we go. There you are, Timman. Now you can climb up the hill, sit on your bench... And observe your surroundings. <laughs> Timmins Hill. Um, what was I doing? Oh yes, the trains. <sighs> the A35. If we wanted to um, convert the tip to that, that's potentially fine. Uh, then we'll need some passenger wagons. And that's the only one that's available at the moment. Now our current trains. What is the capacity of our train? 59 people. So if we want something that's comparable, that is 14, 28, 42, 56, 70. That's more. 
But that's going to be 7.8 million per vehicle. I can't afford that. It's going to cost me 23 million. I'm too poor. Is there any point in upgrading just one of them? Oh dear. Perfect. A place for someone with vertigo, but thanks. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what to do, because it's going to cost us 28 million. You'll only need two after. Ooh, that's interesting. So we could get rid of one of them and it would cost us 15 million. And then sell the other train. We're going to cost cutting exercise. I don't know what that train's worth, but it can't be worth much. Train two. Yeah, look, value. 1,000... Uh, 100... 1,000... 155,000 and it's going down. It's it's 7% of its starting value. Okay, whilst that money mounts up a little bit, is there anything else we can do in the meantime? I'm thinking these trucks around here we could upgrade. It's good. We've already got a loan. I would like to try and avoid taking too much loan. Um, I think we can get more out of this part of the network if we upgrade the vehicles. So if we have a look at the vehicle manager, come out of that one. We have a look at the Jack Cole network, which is this one. Um, we've got... Eh? Oh, get rid of that. We've got 15 vehicles going around and it's probably not enough. So we can upgrade all 15 vehicles to the latest cargo vehicle. It'll carry more, go faster. Not quite double the speed, but it'll carry two more as well. And it has quicker loading times. And that's only going to cost us 1.1 million. And it will help with getting profit. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to upgrade those trucks. And I'm also going to do the same on the on the iron service. So we're going to get those 50 trucks. Upgrade them. It's going to cost 1.6 million. But I think that's an investment. If we have a look at the uh, line manager now. Uh, we can see that Jack Iron and Jack Cole are around the 150, uh, 150 to 200,000 pound mark. So hopefully they will increase. Oh, actually they're a little bit less than that. Maybe we should do it by name. Uh, non, I've got probably too many buses in some of these towns now. Like over here in Jebula City, right? We don't need this many buses going around. Because there is... Oh, there's 52 people. Oh, it's a train station. Here we go. There's nobody waiting at that bus station. And then there's one person waiting at that bus station. And they're now being serviced very quickly. In fact, if we look here, look at the frequency. The frequency of this these bus services is like every 23 seconds to every minute. That's too much. Yeah, I need to take some buses off. That is way too frequent. So, I mean, the iron service... Um, being every 21 seconds. That's fine. Um, although I haven't said that, maybe the Nix bus service is okay. Then that's nearly half full. Let's do it by balance and have a look. Yeah, I think we're going to take a couple off the, this service. There we are. Let's remove those two off that one. And then we'll remove a couple off this one. Actually, hang on. I don't think I should remove any off the Nix and Anvil service, maybe? 
Oh, it's all fluctuating so much. Sell them with the pass with the sell the buses with the passengers still on. Yes, very much so. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell those two, and I'm going to sell. Well, the balance on all of them is terrible. We shouldn't have such a high frequency on these bus routes with that fewer being serviced. There we are. We can always get more if we need to. I'm going to cut them all down to three. Okay, just going to cut all those bus services down to three and just see how it goes. If we start getting people piling up, that's only a brilliant thing, right? There we go. Let's quickly come back over here and revisit the lines that are happening down here and see how we're going on. Line statistics for these guys. So this is the uh, Brandon Fuel and the Party Food Service. And ever since we changed the vehicles, they're now doing very well. Very well indeed. Above the line says, I'm currently downloading PUBG, but it'll take quite some time to complete. Yes, well we have a full squad for PUBG tonight, but feel free to come over to the Discord to watch. Um, you know, get a feel for the way we play it and all that sort of stuff. Um, <laughs> you had to do some protesting in Somerset to keep the, your, every uh, some of your bus routes. Yeah, I mean I've just cut some bus routes. I'm ruthless like that. Okay, uh, we've got some overloading here. Should we deal with overloading before we upgrade the the trains on the main line? So if we look at the station, is that the stations? Yep. So the overloading situation at Brandon Hillville Transfer here. The overloading is bad. So in theory, we need more trucks. And you know what? I would agree. That line's making some good money. There's an overloading here. There's a bit of an overload there. Let's throw a few more trucks at it. So here is, oh, that's a party food truck. There we go. Manage vehicles. How many we got? We got 20. Let's throw another five at it. We'll clone five. There we go. Send them on the way. Then we'll look at the next offender. And that is over here. This train station. Really? But we've I'm sure we've got two trains working this line. We have. Wow. Um can we make the trains longer? The I believe these stations are 160. Let's have a look. So the trains on this line are currently 92 in length. We could potentially get some more. Yeah, we could get some more. Let's um, have a look and see how much that's going to cost. Okay, to make both of the trains maximum length would cost 337... Uh, sorry, 3.7 million. I don't think we need to do that. I don't think we need to do that. Let's get... Let's, let's cancel that. Or oh, is it going to remember my playing around? Let's just add, like, another on each one. Just to get a, another another eight or so capacity. You know what? Let's put two. Consider it so overloaded, okay? It's going to cost us one and a half million. We'll end up uh, carrying more stuff. The trains will still accelerate relatively well. And it's going to get us some more money. And it's, the station's not going to be as overloaded. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, okie dokie, how are we getting on? I need a little drink. You know what, let's take a quick break. I'm gonna get fresh drink, stretch my legs. We'll check out how things are getting on in just a couple of minutes time. I will see you in two minutes. Right then, by my reckoning, we've been live about 10... Oh, it's working! It works! Oh, yes! Right, I, I don't know if I can show this without... Oh, because I'm in the admin end and I don't want to show everything. Uh, I, oh, I can take a screenshot and show you that bit. Oh, this is brilliant! Okay, okay. Sun exposure zero. Block, but oh, it's a solar eclipse. No, it's a, it's an eclipse. What you? What are the odds of having a cl an eclipse just as I'm about to try and do this thing? I've never seen that in KSP before. Wow. Yeah, away, yeah, yeah. Away you go. This Wait. trap is uh, <laughs> safe. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, it's got me. Oh, no, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Oh, my <laughs> God. Look at this one. Got it. <laughs> you See guys you later, are so, sir. like, I don't know if the weather. Why are you guys doing <laughs> yeah, That'll do for now. Wait, I'm dragging another log with me. It's fine. Turn right. <laughs> Off you go, See you later. <laughs> Quave's now actually driving off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, this is amazing. Bye. Oh, right, I've actually managed to finish sowing. Okay, it'll be nearly time to harvest. Yeah. I'm not sure. I can move it around. It's just, ah, it's just ridiculous. I can do that. Yeah, If if our objective today was to produce something that just looked gorgeous. Uh, then th this is what we were setting out to do. And this is now the result of what we got. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. That is fantastic indeed. And you know who else are fantastic? My viewer plus subscribers. Uh, we won't run the ad. <laughs> I'll run it later though. Thank you very much for your plus subscribers. Uh, we now have some more new vehicles available to us. Um, and there's still a massive amount of wood uh, down here. Uh, this is 62% transported, apparently. Uh, we're going to be probably getting more here. Yo, look at all those planks. Yeah, we're probably going to need another ship. Let's have a look now at those uh, that station list again. Okay, some of these are getting better. Um... This station is still terrible. I think maybe five trucks wasn't really enough to put a big enough dent in it. So, let's get another five. There we are. Clone them. Boats. Yes, Brandon. Boats. I know you like the boats. Um, and then what? Then what? Oh, yes. the the uh, The next one. What we got over here? So we got we got Brandon's oil, the two logs, and then the next one is this one. Okay, the iron ore. However, we recently upgraded the vehicles on here so that they were faster and carried more. So what's that all about? Some cargo items are being lost because the station is overloaded. Fair enough. Anvil Bay now demands goods. Oh no, it's demanding goods. See, when they get too big, they start demanding other things. Cheeky people. Uh, let's get a few more vehicles on that, shall we? So, we'll grab one of these vehicles and we'll say... We'll chuck another five vehicles on there. Everybody wants more boats. Let's have a quick look. How are we getting on? See, there's only 64 planks at the dock, and the ships are coming in that can transport 70 each. Um, although, the sawmill hasn't upgraded yet. I don't know. It's doing all right. 
Graham says you should incorporate your viewer plus promotion in your clip roll when you take breaks. I could do that. Um, the way that the clip roll works, it's actually a script that I wrote. Um, anybody can use it, and what it does is it randomly plays uh, the clips that are in the folder that the script is in, but it also remembers the last 10 videos it played you, so it doesn't easily repeat. Something that Spotify can take a leaf out of. Um, but yeah, um, that's all it is. So I could very easily put a special clip in that folder and just change the code a little bit to say, hey, uh, you know, play a clip and then the second clip is always this one. Um, or something like that. Could do. Uh, right then, line manager. Let's have a look at the bank balance of everything. Okay, that's looking much, much better. We might need to drop a bus in Jeb. Just because this town is A, one of the smaller ones, and B, the two stations are actually quite close together, so the line isn't very long. So, or maybe we could move the station further away. There's quite a lot of overlap on the coverage. You know what? I'm going to put one vehicle away. We can always get another one out later. There we are. Yeah, it's a good idea, Graham. I might do that. Might do that. I do want. I do like the idea of having the control over it. Right. Uh, oh my goodness. I just sent him a message. I'm very sorry to the person I sent it to. If you can't decipher it, let me know. <laughs> it's like all the letters are in the wrong order. Uh, uh, right, there's a load of people there. There's a lot of people there. But we've only got 7 million in the bank. I think... I did say I didn't want to get more money out than the 10 million that we've got. But I feel like it might be worth it. Because our rate of improvement has died off. I mean, look at this. We we uh, we were going pretty steady with our income, and then we made some changes and got some vast improvements. But then last year it was pretty much the same. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna do the passenger trains. We will take out a extraordinary amount of money. 25 million pounds um, I'm not going to do the voice hang on we've got an achievement have at least 300 cargo items waiting I wanted to see where that was where was it the achievement went away so quick I think it was one of these ones I think it was this one wasn't it yeah there's a lot of cargo items waiting there We'll upgrade all the trains soon. When we've got the money. When the money's rolling in. Speaking of rolling. Trains are rolling. Let's upgrade the trains. Okay. So all of these trains. We're going to edit them manually. And what we're going to do. Is we're going to put the steam locomotive. Can I drag it? Oh I can't drag it. Alright hang on a second. We'll take that steam locomotive off. And add that one. And then we'll do the same for the others. I didn't do the same. There we go. That's 11 million. And because they're going to be going a lot faster, like twice as fast, I'm not going to increase the capacity. Although, what's the maximum speed of that, that wagon? Do these wagons have maximum speeds?
Yeah, maybe. And they're not on there now. Can I show expired? No. Um. How do I get info on a wagon that I don't have? Don't know. The cars can't do 100, only a 45. Well, these ones. I want information on them. How do I get the information on them? It should be a lot easier to do it than this. Okay, how much is it going to be to completely upgrade them all? We're going to replace these selected vehicles with a brand new steam train and brand new passenger wagons as well. Um, probably that one. That's 30 million. It's a big capacity. We don't need that much capacity. Hmm. We nearly have that much money. What's the current capacity of our trains? 59. What if we matched that to begin with? Look, there's 56. Okay, let's do 56 because they'll be quicker. So that means they'll arrive more often and we shouldn't need quite as much capacity. And then we can add more later. Here we go. Boom. Oh, nice. Very nice trains, like it. Oh, we ended up inside that train. I don't want to accidentally end up inside anything tonight. It is a beautiful sight though, isn't it? Everything working so nicely. I have actually got a, a, a train t-shirt. If uh, if you want to go to the store and have a look at it, it's the Hellish Inc. Express. And somebody says, it doesn't have a tender. And that's because it actually runs on, it runs on the souls of people who don't subscribe. Yeah, here we go. Oh, a train whistle, of course. Let's go with that. <laughs> Marks out of 10 for that one. Okay, so I think we can all agree that the new one looks fantastic. But are they going to start making us some good money? So let's have a look at the line manager. Not the line manager. But Oh, it, oh my goodness, it's off the edge of the screen almost. So, what we're expecting to see... I can't remember what the balance of this one re was recently, but we can look at the line and look at the finances of the line. Finances. I said that a bit strange, didn't I? Finances. What we want to see is this kind of line that's been wiggling up and down here. We want it to then just go up. So we'll see if that happens. And if it does, we know we made the right call in spending all of that money. Uh, all the trains have gone. Have we got another train coming soon? I, I feel like we need another train. The balance was less than a million earlier. Yeah, but you have to, you have to take into... Con well, I've lost a train. Here we go. Hang on a second. You have to take into consideration the fact that it fluctuates anyway. So if you look, if you... Oh, hang on a second. Where is it? Come on. 
Why can't I zoom? There we go. Sorry about that. So, yeah, if you look at this graph, you can see that it varies and goes up and down anyway. So you can't just look at it and says, oh, it's a bit higher now than it was. It must be doing well. You have to look at the progression of the graph and how it's changing. Now, what you may have noticed is the expenses jumped up last time. Okay, that was also a partial year. So the expenses are probably going to jump up again. What we need is then everything to be much higher. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, I wonder what that button was. Okay, so looking at our empire now. Things look pretty good. Is everything making money? Everything is making money. Even our terrible bus service on the beautiful island. Oh, it's not the island. Is it an island? I suppose it is, isn't it? I never really realised that Jebula City is on an island. We're not taking machines to it though, are we? Nope. No, we're, not, we're not taking machine parts to it. We probably ought to. Oh, wow, look at this island. Okay, and it's not, it's not quite as good as what I thought it was. I thought it was brilliant uh, with its cargo chains, but it's not. Can we spot some really nice cargo chains anywhere? Nope, that's not a good cargo chain. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, you've got a forest and a sawmill and then the tools factory. Electrify the wood lines. I mean, there's no point in electrifying any of the lines yet. Have we got any electric vehicles out? Uh, let's have a look. That's the wrong kind of one. Oh, we do have one electric vehicle out. And... It's not as fast, but it's got more power. Although, if you compare it to a decent steam train, maybe not. I'm not quite sure why you would electrify them right now. Things must be getting quite busy down here. We are going to have electric trains. We will do. I promise. At some point. There we go. Right, looking at the line statistics, everything is looking brilliant. Um, the balance of these things have all shot up quite nicely. Let's have a look at our finances chart. Oh my goodness. This expenditure must also take into account uh, like the purchase of stuff. Oh, we haven't built a headquarters. Oh, where should we build the headquarters? Yeah, I know one of the two tracks is already done, but it's fine. Um, where should we build the... Well, I think the headquarters should be on Chief Mechanic Island. Just because it's a cool little island. Um, Tim's Island. We could put it over on Tim's Island. This could, this could be just like the place where all the posh people hang out. Should we put the headquarters on a hill? Should we, should we make a bigger hill? Put the headquarters on it. Find an empty island. Could do. This is an empty island. It's a nice empty island. There is absolutely nothing at, uh, at all. The island off Tim's Island. What, like here? There's a little bit of a land bridge there. And this kind of, this bit kind of pinnacling out there. Make a hole for the HQs. <laughs> so the HQs in a hole. Uh, no, I don't think I'll uh, probably do that. Um, there are a few islands about with like absolutely nothing on them. Not many that are completely disconnected, like kind of this one is. 
and there's this one right over here in the middle of nowhere. What's on this island? So we got three forests, a sawmill, and a tools factory. That's not too bad. Uh, the only problem there is, is that oh, a tools factory only needs the planks. It's not a machine shop. Only one of the towns needs the tools, though. We could export tools. In fact, across the sea, right across the sea, fed next to the sea needs tools. So if we supplied Uxbridge with tools from that little network, we could then ship the spares over to fed next to the sea. I think that would be a smart move. Okay, people seem to think that we need an island. I'm going to put it on this island, off Tim's island. And then we'll make sure that it's definitely disconnected. So where's the HQ? Well, you know what? We should probably pay back the loan when we're not using the money. Right. Build the headquarters. It's going to cost a very small amount of money. There we go. Build a headquarters. Uh, we can relocate it if we want to. Nice. Um, we need to see more of a rise of that income. Right, let's see how that main line's doing. Because that was a massive financial investment. We've got two trains arriving at the same time here, but that's fine because they're going in different directions and they're going to be satisfying two different lots of waiting passengers. But this line... That looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good to me. Look at that. So we were making just under 2 million income. And now we're up to just under 4 million income. So we've doubled the income. But running costs have shot up. We were just under a million on running costs. And now we're just over 2 million. But that is with relatively short trains still. So the engines are good. And that might go up a little bit more yet. We'll see. We've got some really bad earnings. Some really, really bad earnings. Um, right. Let's have a look, see what's happening over here. Here yeah, we've got quite a lot of passengers waiting. Back to that station list. So we've got quite a few that are in a very poor overloaded state. That Brandon transfer, again, still top of the list. We're getting a few vehicles waiting here. That's not good. They shouldn't be on full load for this part of the order. Hang on a second. Why? I mean... Um, Okay, that's not full load. That's not full load. That's just load if available. So why are they just sat there then? Hmm. Minimum stop time is still zero. That was the auto save. Oh, are they trying to drop off? Are they unloading? Okay. 
Yeah, that one's full. Okay, maybe they're just slow, really slow to unload then. In which case we need uh, either a bigger or longer platform or more places for them to unload. So if I do this... And then configure the lines for the, the terminals. So that which one's that? We can do this. Does that help? I think that would help. Yeah, I do need to add more. In theory, that, that truck behind should now go to the other place and drop off better. I think it might be because it's dropping off and picking up. I'm not sure. It is sat there for quite a while. Why is it still sat there? That doesn't make any sense. Go away. <laughs> Go over to the next bit. Oh well, we'll keep an eye on that. See if that helps. I think it did. Let's see. No, no. Next time we're gonna. Next time we're gonna start a whole new industry thing down here. Like this. This is. This is next live stream. What we need to do is name this town after a viewer plus subscriber, though. Should we do it? Let's do it. What we'll do is I'll attempt to name it after somebody uh, in chat. And if we can't get a unique um, person from the chat list, then we will go out to the entire list of the Viewer Plus subscribers. So, if you're a Viewer Plus subscriber and you haven't spoken in chat for a while, please do so now. Uh, right. How are we getting on with that train service? So, all the... Oh, wow! Some of these are really picking up pace. These trains over here on this line. Um, I could do with probably making them longer. Probably long enough. Can't afford it though. Let's add a couple of three. Let's add three to each. There we go. Where are they? There we are. Just crossing paths now. Eventually they'll all get updated so that the uh, they've all got the same wagon type. Hopefully sorted the problem and your name's on the wheel. I mean, I, for the man, I, I didn't see any problem last time when we had a quick look. And then I fell ill. So I unfortunately haven't had a chance to look into it further. But fingers crossed, eh? Um, wow. That is a big load. 197 waiting there. Lots. Uh, right, let's spin that wheel. I can see Chief Bug, right? I can see Wizard Brandon. Who else is on the wheel? Checks a kid above the line. Infernal Badger. <laughs> Fran the Man, you're still not on there. Infernal Badger. Have we got anything named after Infernal Badger? 
Uh, let's have a look. Towns. It's towns. Oh, it's, is it just towns we're naming after people? Hmm. I'm not seeing Infernal Badger on the list. So I, I guess we're going to have Badger Town. <laughs> hey, Leg Dig, welcome. I named a train. Ah, uh, yeah, but somebody paid hellish points for that. That's different. That's not viewer plus people. Check the stations. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't need to check the stations. Town directory should be fine. I mean, if somebody can come, somebody if somebody can come up with something better than Badger Town, feel free. But I think Badger Town's a pretty good name for a town, don't you? Stations we've been named. No, not in this in let's play. Uh, in our Transport Fever let's play, we named platforms in a station. Sorry, rail route. In our rail route let's play, we named um, we named platforms in a station. But this one is all uh, viewer plus subscribers city names. Uh, if you want to name a train, we can add that to the store. I don't know if a, a moderator could do that. A moderator, maybe shout out. Do that. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of people waiting at this station now. 48. How big are our trains? Where is our train? I think we need another train. Uh, add name a train to the uh, Hellish Point store. See, there's two over here crossing over. I think we need another one. Oh, it just arrived. It just arrived. There we are. And there's still eight people. And it's full. So maybe we just need to add more carriages to them. Let's do that. Um, not replace. There we go. That's going to cost 2.2 million. Another carriage on each one of them. How much? How much has it been in the past? Uh, let's have a look at the previous store items. Oh, wow. It's not actually on the list. Shall we make it... Oh, no, wait. Name a train. 500 hellish points. There you go. There you go. Remember, it must be family-friendly, folks. There are still a lot here. Do you think... Fantastic. Should we add another one? Oh, it's been claimed already. <laughs> a moderator adds it to the store, and it's been claimed right away. Uh, I don't know if we're getting enough vehicles through this station. Let's try upgrading it. See if we can uh, improve the situation here. Really, that should be full load as well. Shouldn't it? It's not set to full load. Full load. There we go. That might help. I don't know. It's like a moderator puts name a train on the store. It's like, yes, we'll have it straight away. Buy it. Um. Wow. Everything's making money and the amount of money has gone up quite well. You'd extend the truck stop rather than making it wider. You it can fit more on yeah but can you still only have one truck loading and unloading at each stop at once like you see this one loading like if we get two straight after each other can another one come in behind it and load at the same time and then if you add an extension on it can another one load I'm not sure
Um, how are we doing? How are we doing over here? Still too much. We could just throw more vehicles at these lines. Oh yeah, where are we overloaded? Uh, we are overloaded. At Brandonville Transfer. You know what? I'm fed up with this line being overloaded. Thirty vehicles. Double it. Oh no. Another can queue without getting in the way of the entry of the road with longer platforms. Oh, I can see. Yeah, you get more queuing, but what was the problem was is that they weren't queuing waiting for some cargo to be available. They were queuing because it was taking time for vehicles to load and unload. We might get that here as well. I don't know yet. We'll see. This road depot, we might need to move it or put it somewhere else because we might need to expand this one in the other direction as well. Okay. Hopefully that actually fixes that station. It's still down as very poor at the moment, but we'll see. The next one is this one. What vehicles are we running here? relatively good decent road vehicles there is a lot stacking up let's double the amount of road vehicles there we go um friend the man says i like the sound of francis the tank engine if anyone can think of a better one you're open to suggestions they are friend the man's paying for a train name but is letting people participate in the naming of said train. Oh dear. I don't like these tiny little nothing islands. Like they're even covered in water. I want a new kit. Oh, how's our H how's our HQ doing? Oh wow, it's got our name on it as well, look. Master Hellish Transport. It's a little, I wonder, does it get bigger and fancier? I'm not sure. Uh, finances, let's have a look. So, um, that's before the live stream. This is where we had our initial growth period. And then, since then, we have got some growth. So we've actually, actually looks like we're still growing quite nicely. Are we actually connected to the mainland there? Yes, just. Fair enough. Oh wow, we could put ourselves on the top of this. Is it me? Does it look like look that looks that looks like a fish? Hellish, please do not <laughs> nick the uncut the uncontacted tribes. Oh yeah, I suppose. Uh, right, station list. How are we getting on? Uh, the next one on the list for doing terrible are these log places. I guess the log trains need upgrading. Oh, hang on, these trains we didn't upgrade. Logs one. We upgraded the other ones. So, um, we put some of these flat car wagons on. Can't afford to do that many flat car wagons, but I'll, I'll add another two on each of those trains. There we go. That's going to help. That's going to help. It is indeed. I'm sure it is. I mean, this one is also pretty bad. Maybe we need a third train. We also need to upgrade the trains. 
One of them is going a lot faster than the other one. That one's going 30. That one's going 50. Upgrade the boats. Upgrade the boats. Oh, that might be a good one to do. How are they doing on this line, though? It's not that overloaded. Uh, how much would it cost to replace these? For the biggest cargo ones. Oh, we can't have that one. Um, it would cost 5 million to uh, up upgrade those ones to the newest. Um, it would be able to carry nearly double the amount for the ships that I've got. So I could potentially afford to lose one of those four ships and actually only get three. They also go faster, so payments would be better. Okay, let's do it. What we're going to do is we're going to sell one of these ships. That's going to give us a small amount of money or something, maybe. And then uh, we're going to upgrade them to this one. We actually are a little bit short on the cash there, but I don't think it will take too long for our earnings to bump up to 3.8 million. And then we'll be fine. Then we'll be fine. Hmm. Hang on, folks. The money's coming in. This content is supported by Viewer Plus. With Viewer Plus, you're directly fueling the passion and projects of Master Hellish. Be rewarded with game server access, Viewer Plus Discord channels, double Hellish points, exclusive videos, and more. With various plans to choose from, directly fuel the furnace for more thrilling entertainment. If you enjoy Master Hellish content, consider supporting today. I was hopeful that by the time I ran that, we'd have enough money, but uh, unfortunately we don't. <laughs> we're just a little bit short. Uh, we were at, Oh no, but now, now we've got enough. There we go. Boom. New ships. Look at that. Oh, hang on. How big are they? Hang on a second. Details. What length do they... 51. Does it say whether... It... Oh, it counts as a small ship. Ah, good. Because I haven't done the large bits coming out of there, there yet. Oh, look at all those lines making lots and lots of money. Ha ha ha. Uh, how am I doing on the loan? Uh, I, I'm still got 17 million of the loan. We, need, we do need to repay <laughs> repay that. In, income's still going up. Income is going nice. This is what I like to see. A graph like this when I'm playing a game. Like before the live stream, we were doing some cool things. But uh, ever since the live stream started, it's been. Uh... There we go. Upgrade the log trains with electric ones. I don't see why that would be a good idea. Let's have a look. Manage vehicles. So, electric. The electric train's top speed is 75, where the top speed of the current train is 50, so it would be quicker that way. Uh, they have... Although that's compared to the older steam train. Like if you compare them to all steam trains, you're then comparing 100 kilometers an hour to 75, uh, 1,000 kilowatts compared to 1.6, so it does have more pulling power. They can't get to the speed. Yeah, they can't get to the speed because they ain't got the pulling power for it. Um, the costs, though, it would cost me probably about four million each with the current value of my trains. Maybe more. I 
definitely don't have that sort of money yet. What other wins can we make with the money that we do have? What's closing down over here? More th There's quite a lot of things that have been closing down recently. I've seen these little red bars on the map. Uh, right. Look, see, we've got another sawmill closing down. I hope, look, I hope we get new industries coming in, and I hope none of these industries close down, because that's what we're going to work on next time. Over in Badger Town. That train is going so much quicker than the old ones. This is a cool game. I like it. Yeah. You can quote me on that. <laughs> money! Doing okay. We need to do stuff to make that money get better. How can we make things get better? Well, these trains can go up to 100 uh, kilometers per hour now. How fast are our tracks? Uh, speed. Okay, we've got some patches which are slower. Yeah, that bit's to be expected. So are these bridges. That's quite a tight curve, but it's leading into a station anyway. I think we've got... Oh, look at that. That's not nice. Again, it's leading into a station, though. This is potentially unnecessary. This slow down here. Let's remove that. Just realised that we've got trains running on that line, but it'll be fine. There we go. We've also got a tiny bit of electric there now. Yeah, we're just future-proofing that little bit of the line. Okay, uh, yeah, that'll um, prevent problems there. Right, next to the stations. Brandeville transfer. We, oh my goodness. There's a little bit of a slowdown in trucks there, isn't there? Right, we're going to move this depot. So we're going to probably put it over there. Uh, yeah, let's put it. Let's put it here. Let's change the angle, and then we'll bulldoze this one. And we'll configure this one a little bit. We'll do some pretty major upgrading. Um. So, the first time that we come to transfer, let's get them to go to three, with the option of visiting four, and then the next time they come to the transfer, they're going to platform one with the option of platform two. See how that goes. Get those oil trucks to use more platforms. Fran the man, we had a great plan. There we are. Fran, did you actually decide on the name of the train? Francis the Tank Engine. Right, I'm gonna upgrade I'm gonna change one of the names of the trains to the Francis the Tank Engine. Um I will just take like the let's go to trains. Here we go. We'll name them in order, so we'll rename train one. And because we haven't actually got any tank engines... There we are, Francis the Tank Engine. Uh, if you want to name a train, just spend your hellish points on it. Uh, I'm sure the moderators are keeping on top of that. Hey, mods. <laughs> oh, dear. 
I'm really pleased, pleased with the amount of money that's coming in. We nearly got our money back down to the 10 million that we had at the beginning in terms of loans. We Maybe we should change these bridges so that that works better. Also, this curve's a bit rubbish. Is it here? I can't remember now. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's, it's going to be rubbish. Hmm. I mean, we could land bridge it. Let's land bridge it, shall we? And then, in the future... Oh, we haven't got a lot of money. I'm not going to delete the bridge. And have nothing left. Got to change it to a tank engine. Oh, no. We can't do that, I'm afraid. Because the tank engine's just... No, we can't have a tank engine on the main line. It's just not possible. Right, where have we got things building up? So, Bandonville transfer should work a bit better now. Uh, we did send an influx of trucks to this location all at the same time. So they've got they've got to spread out. The bridges aren't a problem. I mean, they'd slow down the trains at potentially a, slight, a tiny bit. Because if I remember correctly, the trains are travelling up to 100 and the bridges are 90. So there we go. Once these vehicles spread out, I think we'll be looking better there. Uh, what's next on the list? Oh my goodness, it's all those logs. Yeah, it's only 10 kilometers an hour. It's not worth spending the money changing it all around. I can't remember how long these trains are now. Let's have a look. How long are they? Um, nope. I didn't want to clone them. They're 115, so we can actually make them longer. It would take them longer to get up that hill. I think another train would solve that problem quite nicely. As a proud member of the Church of the Commuter Tank, you can absolutely have tank engines on the main line. <laughs> oh well, I suppose, yeah. Uh, how are we doing for um, wood? Yeah, planks are doing fine there. What's the next one that's not those two? Oh wow, we, we've actually got a lot of grain hanging out here. Uh, how well's this line doing in terms of finances? It's got a good balance. So we've got a lot of grain waiting there. So I guess we should probably get a few more road vehicles. Let's start with just five more to begin with. So it's a relatively big route now. Maybe we need more than five. Maybe we do. Maybe we'll come back to that one. Uh, oh my goodness. Then the next ones are these coal and iron ore lines here that still need more vehicles. Uh, we've got 25 here. So I'm going to clone five. We're going to send in... Uh, 30 now on that side of things. How many vehicles have we got on this line? The Jack Cole line. Uh, we have 15. Well, let's up that to 20. There we go. They are running modern vehicles, so we should be okay. And hopefully that'll mean we get even more money. And then after all of those things, we've got some good ones um, down here that apparently are well dealt with so that's good we just have to keep an eye on these very poor ones and do what we can oh my goodness there you are there's the 30 that all bunched up let's just change the uh no not manage vehicle manage the line let's change the maximum wait time from three minutes down to 130 seconds and on this one 130 as well there we go hopefully oh that was 150 all right we'll change that one to 150 i want them to be the same hopefully that means there won't be quite so many stacking up I 
I might even lower it a little bit more because we have got quite a... I did get 30 more vehicles though, didn't I, all at the same time. I need more signals for three trains. Um, I don't think so because I've got a platform at either end and two tracks. So in theory, you could have three trains on that. It wouldn't be very efficient, but it would work. I mean, ideally, yes, I'd put more signals on. It would flow a lot better. I think the problem here is, is that those vehicles need to spread out a bit. Maybe we get uh, the maximum stop time down to 100 seconds. So that neither one of those two lines, like, clogs up too much. There we go. Hopefully that'll take effect soon and that'll work. What we're looking at down... Oh my gracious. I think we've got a similar situation going on here, but I don't think these ones are full loading. No, they're not full loading here. They're just taking their time. And again, there's two different types. So if we uh, configure this thing... What we can do is just come in here and, and fix this out to make it even better. So the second time we visit the exchange, we actually go to platform three with the option of platform four. And the first time that we visit the exchange, we go to platform two with the option of platform one. And hopefully that will make things here flow better as well. Some are dropping at one platform and then going round again. Really? Well, maybe. There we all. Now they're at, le at least they're better spread out now. They shouldn't be waiting there for long. You would drop off on one side and pick up the other cargo area. I mean, the drop off here. And the pickup is just one order. Should it be two separate orders? Is that what I'm doing wrong at these stations? You need a drop off order, an unload, and a separate pickup order for them to be efficient. I'm not sure if that's the case. Okay, station list. Oh wow. Okay, the machines factory is now down to very poor. So what can we do about that? Well, these we've got two of these trains, right? Yeah. Maybe we can improve these trains. Oh, yes, we certainly can. We can put some more cargo wagons on these trains. Uh, we don't want... Uh, what are we carrying? Machine parts, so it would be more box cars. So we can add... Um, Probably a little bit more than that. We'll spend three million on more wagons for these guys. There we go. The game... No, the game doesn't like it. What, dropping off and then a second order for picking up? Okay. Well, there we go, folks. We've been doing a lot of expanding so far. Um... It's been a combination of making improvements to lines, um, you know, getting rid of slow bits and improving it with faster parts. We've upgraded trucks. We've improved the number of trucks. Uh, we've played around with these new uh, new engines that we've got. The models in this game are pretty fantastic, to be honest, aren't they? Oh yeah, look at that. Um, what else? What else have we got going on? Yeah, we've we've reconfigured some stations for some improvements. Uh, that still looks terrible. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to smooth that with a ma with a massive brush. But I ran out of money at the time. There we go. 
Now it just looks like any other light section part of the map, maybe. Maybe. All these road bridges that have been built. I mean, I don't know if they were there at the beginning, at the beginning of the game, but... Ooh, there's not many quarries about, are there? Where do the quarries go? Where do they come from? Where do they go? Who needs a quarry? Cotton Eye Joe. I'll tell you something though. HQ still looks the same. Haven't even got a new car set out outside the front of it. Maybe we need to do a little bit of decorating ourselves to make it look better. We could eat, maybe each live stream we can come back here and just like do a little bit more. Like put put some nice nice path outside or something. There we go. That's for all my all my fans to sit there. Slope threshold. Rotation. Uh, oh, there's the oh strength. We can turn the strength down. Oh, that's not okay. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. So the first little upgrade to the HQ is a big gravel area out front. So we can take deliveries and so people can come and visit the HQ. You know, they can put a burger stand out there, fairground rides, whatever they want to do. It will upgrade with earnings next time at a hundred million. Ooh, nice. So this is the big money, is the big money. Oh look, there's this place that needs stone to make bricks. Where else is there? Is that the only place on the map? Where's the... Is that the industry list? Here we go, look. Let's have a look. There's a bunch and buy product. Oh no, there's four of them on the map. There's four quarries. There is... This quarry. That quarry. That quarry. And that quarry. There's a few different quarries about the place. Right. Can we get the, the loan back to um, 10 million before the end of the live stream? I hope so. Finances again. Heading in the right direction, but I'm not sure we're still getting the same rate of growth that we was getting before. Um, yeah, there you go. There's before the stream. And then... Yeah, it's not continuing at exactly the same rate. It seems to have tailed off a little bit <laughs> back end quarry maybe maybe the only place was not the one that's shutting down Brandon don't worry there was some others there was some others oh one of the new trains has just come out of here how many we got left at the station 190 wow as things, like, things are freeing up at uh, this station over here. Brandonville transfer. I think next time, if we need to send a load of trucks, we shouldn't just send all the trucks at the same time. If anything, that's going to cause more problems. Yeah, no, it's not going to cause more problems. Uh, we do need a few more. Wow, look at all these. Can they drop off okay at this little thing? Is that where they're dropping off? Oh, they're dropping off over here. There are two different things that are getting dropped off here, though. But all the ones coming down that street are going to the same place. It's not going to cause some sort of backlog, is it? Uh, potentially. It's 
taken a long time to unload. There's a lot of fuel wagons coming in down here. Oh, we got ourselves a traffic jam. That is definitely a traffic jam. It's getting worse. There we go. Look, that's where they're unloading. You got all these just down here. It's good that they don't block the crossroads, though, yeah? That should naturally space things out, but we do need a few more vehicles on this line. So let's get uh, manage the vehicles. Pop another five on there. And also get that loan back to 10 million nice good 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 now looking at the line manager our main line is or at least was making the most amount of money do we think it's worth expand expanding the vehicle length um maybe yeah It's too bad this cargo thing doesn't sort properly. Well, it, in my opinion, it doesn't. It should be like, it should order like as a percentage. Like, instead of cargo, you should have percentage cargo. And then it will work how I want it to. Okay, let's manage all these vehicles and add another wagon on. One more wagon each. Oh, we can't afford it. <laughs> that might have to wait. That might have to wait a little while. Oh my goodness, look at all these machine stuff. What's going on here? Factory production is getting towards level four now. Transported is actually a very low percentage. Wow, okay. So we probably need another train. It's a long way for the trains to go all the way down here. Oh my goodness, this is building up as well. Hmm. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of reconfiguration. Oh no, I forgot that's why I did that. Because the street access was funny. And having that extra pla uh, that extra stop there figured it out. Okay, let's um, let's manage the line and add secondary stops for all of these. So for four, our secondary stop will be three. Secondary stop will be two, and our secondary stop will be one. So that should help. I mean, I don't know if it will for certain, but I think it might. Oh well, close enough. You always have your trucks going to the furthest platform first, and then the, set, the secondary stop says the others. Yeah, that's probably a, that's a good idea. It depends if they're going to block each other's way, or whether you've got multiple ways to get in there. Ideally, I think you probably have multiple entrances along, the, along there, so that you can actually have vehicles coming in this way, um, this way and this way. Um, or ideally you would have um, these two bound together these two bound together and these two bound together for the three different ways in and then you would have one two and three so that your vehicles then would choose one or the other one or the other and then one or the other that is probably a good way of doing it But we have managed to reduce some of the waiting around. Not over here, though. Over here, it is still pretty terrible. Let's get um, 
Let's get a few more road vehicles. We've got 60. Maybe we need a train. Right, there's five. Let's clone another five. Let's just keep throwing five. Rather than doing 30 all at once. You have to rely on trains, even for short hops. I mean, this is what we might have to do here. I mean, we're only going this distance. But we might need to. We definitely need to sort out the trains in these wood stops. They are too short, not powerful enough. They probably will be the ones that we go to electric to first. Maybe that's what we'll do next time if we've got enough money. Speaking of money, we have managed to get back to our 10 million uh, loan that we had at the start of the live stream. And we have pretty much year on year made improvements throughout the entire stream of the income. So as profit maximization challenges go without actually building any new lines, what have we managed to achieve there? Let's have a look. So we were bringing in roughly, I would say, 0.6 of a mil maybe 0.7 if I'm being generous now we are quite easily up to this point here which is somewhere around the 1.8 to 1.9 and if you double the 6 Okay, if you double the 6, you get more than the 1.8. Oh my goodness, I did the wrong thing. Uh, you get more than 1.8. Uh, sorry, less than 1.8, 1.9. So we've more than 2x'd. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, yes, my amounts were wrong. <laughs> so that isn't 0.6. That is 6 million. That isn't 1.8, that's 18 and 19. 18 to 19. <laughs> but still, the point that I was making still stands. We've more than 2x'd our income without having buying any new lines, building any new lines. We haven't built any new stations. We've only reconfigured, expanded, um you know, introduced more of. Well, vehicles are coming around here quite nicely. All lining up. Nearly short change yourself. Yeah, by about a factor of 10. It's 3x? Have we been that generous? So it was r around 6 million. Um, 6 to 12. Oh, yeah. It is 3x. I said over 2x, so I was right. 3x is over 2. Um, oh, look at that. That was some big money that just got thrown in there with the new longer trains. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. The Jack Mech service is at the top of the list now. Wow, Planks is second? The Planks service is second at the moment. That's fantastic. Boats, ladies and gentlemen. Boats are actually working for us. They're making some good money. More than the main line at the moment. Although I did just throw another vehicle on the back of the main line. So I, the maintenance on that's going to cost more money. And I'm not sure we really needed it. Oh, well, it just shot up to first place. I wish it had a little bit more of a longer average. Oops, something just fell over. Somebody dropped a, something. Boats were in second. I mean, this other boat down here is in almost last place. If you don't count the bus services that we've got in to feed the train stations, then this boat over here uh, is, is absolute last. I mean, it looks like it as well. It looks terrible. God, I wouldn't like to travel on that. I feel like it was just about to break in half at any particular moment. No, 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 don't like it. 
don't like it at all. Right, I'm just going to go and grab myself a little refresh on my drink. Uh, I will see you in a couple of minutes. Oh my goodness, everything's on fire right now. The fire is spreading. There's three en fire engines, four, five. There's been a crash. Hopefully they can contain the blaze. I, think there's, I don't know how many fire... Oh, they're all over the place. You know what? The response times was quite good. Right at the top. Oh, I hit him! What a shot. The new Master Hellish. <laughs> Don't turn the fan on. I'm here. Hello. Hello, everybody. It's, it's, whoa. <laughs> did, did you like that? <laughs> oh, let's sort this, this rest. There we are. That's, that's the right way around now. Oh, retro hellish hair. It's, it's, it's a little bit retro for me, isn't it? <laughs> it is much shorter. I had a lot cut off. I think this has been my most successful rover so far. Early game, early game rover. There we go. Once you take the... Oh. Well, it breaks. Well, I had to say that, didn't I? Poor Brandon is upside down on the crawlway. Oh no, no, no! I don't think I don't think they're dead. I think they just got disconnected. Uh, I can confirm they did just get disconnected. Oh, I do miss Kerbal Space Program. There's a lot of games that I miss. Like, recently I've been wanting to play uh, some World of Warcraft. Obviously, don't really have time in the schedule to play that sort of thing. I have a big list of games that I would love to play. Um, kind of things just like, oh, don't forget to play this game if you get a chance. Um, things like EVE Online, uh, Minecraft. I would love to get and do another... I actually did uh, another season of RimWorld season uh, because I never recorded it. I played it on my Steam Deck while I was nursing my son when he was a baby. Um, there's lots of... I'd like to do a, a hardcore series of Minecraft. I've never done a proper hardcore series of Minecraft before. That could be potentially good fun. Uh, I like the series that I do on the server with the viewer plus subscribers. It's really nice to have that kind of community element about it where we can get together and build things together as well as do things separately but doing a hardcore series by myself I really love the sense of achievement you get with doing something like that and saying I did all of this uh, I achieved that I achieved all of that um, so I would love to do that um, there has been some modding Minecraft chat on the discord yes go over to uh, masterhellish.net to be able to uh, check out all the links uh, there's a link to my discord both at the top and at the bottom of the website there and while we're doing pop-ups remember uh, there's actually a game giveaway on the go at the moment uh, we've got two game giveaways two uh, giveaways for the month uh, we've got train sim world 4 and dave the diver uh, they will be drawn towards the end of the month okay back to transport fever for a little while we actually nearly have enough money to pay off alone so we're going to do that we're going to end up we're going to try and finish the live stream by paying off our loan and keeping an eye on this finances chart it looks like i we've kind of maxed out our kind of income brilliance oh if you hover over it long enough it actually pops up and tells you so yeah 5.2 5 5 5.18 and then we peaked up to 18.6 electric trains now uh no i think that's an upgrade for next time i i feel like moving to electric 
is something that we'll do a little bit like we'll have a bit of a theme of a live stream of moving to electric oh my goodness there is a lot of steel sat here waiting why are these steel trains not shifting it we just need more steel trains don't we they are also the older train they look old now look how rusty they are dire need of an upgrade how rusty is it in the cab Oh, it doesn't look too bad back here. But the front of it looks terrible. Anyway. We do need to carry more stuff. And the boats are doing really well. Everything's doing really well. There we are, look. We're all making loads of money. The main line's gone to 2.2 million in the uh, balance there. <laughs> it might be a British engine. I mean, what? I don't know what the main line train's looking like. Where are? Where's one of them? There's one of them. So this is nowhere near old, and it's looking in much better condition. I can't think what the oldest train on the network might be. Because we replaced the main line trains and then I think those trains were next yeah they were oh we've got a bit quite a lot of planks building up here but a ship is just about to arrive so we're all right there I think wow we still have a problem oh okay I'm gonna turn the full load order off I think because these are not balanced Change the load if available. I'm sure that's causing us more problems than it's worth. Slightly complicated there, but it seems that there are some minor delays. Some vehicles seem to like to go through others, and others do not. Branner's like, just got a drink. Nice. So hopefully they won't wait for too long while loading and unloading. Although this station is purely loading. Let's check another one. Let's check this one. See, that one's okay. That one's doing fine. Maybe that's what we needed to do, because it wasn't even on the amount of fuel. And I don't know why it wouldn't be even. It's like two different stops. The only way I can think of doing it, without doing like... Two stops here, two stops here, two stops there, and then going to one of each of the two towns would be to separate it out into two different lines. And then you would have the same problem. You would. You would. You'd have the same problem. The only way to do it would be to do it all as one line, but then not deliver the fuel to the towns and have that as two separate lines. I'll have a think about it. My instinct's telling me the best way of doing it would be to have one line for all of this down here, going some back backwards and forwards between the two, and then one tiny line for delivering into the town here, and one longer line for delivering to the other town. So you'd end up with three lines. We'll see. I'll have a think about that. See how I feel. Uh, right, money. Uh, let's do a brilliant thing. 
the loan's gone. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the first time this series. It's gone. This kaput, kaplamo, disappear, gone. And hopefully now that means we won't be paying like 140,000 a year. Maybe have a separate line for the furthest town away. Uh, but that's the thing, Founder Man. You can't really do one for just that. Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> money. Let's do a brilliant thing and make more. I mean, that's what that's what you can do with money, isn't it? Uh, we've already got 2.3 million in the bank account. Not a massive amount of money in the grand scale of this game. But considering that we've done all of these upgrades and paid off our loan... I think it's probably the ultimate upgrade, really, isn't it? Paying off the loan. Look at this finances chart. It's still going up a little bit. We're still making improvements. Still getting things going up a little. I thought that was it. I thought that this bit here, these two in the middle, I thought that was going to be the end of the improvements. But then this bar came up here and we hit the 20 mil mark. That is 20 million in income. And look, the expenditure's going down. Oh, is that because we're spending less money? Because the expenditure is not running costs. It's actually, yeah, it is. You, you can't. I don't like that about Transport Fever. You can't differentiate the difference between investment and running costs. Because then you can't compare your running costs compared to your income and that's the comparison that I really like just made a big mug of Yorkshire tea that is that's, that's what you want I've, I've got a little bit of water left Ugh. okay folks time for a roundup we have paid off our loan there is now zero loan absolutely zero loan we have increased the amount of income into the company over three times we were getting around five million well, actually it's now about four times because we were getting only just over five million we hit 20 million last year so that that is actually uh that's a 4x that's a four times improvement without building a single new line which i think is quite cool nice uh, succeed on the challenge there uh, all the lines are in profit even the terrible bus services if you don't count the terrible bus services and the token passenger ship the only reason that passenger ship is there is just to give good old tim town something to do <laughs> um then the thing that's doing the worst is um, the actual delivery service from this island and that wasn't meant to be like an efficient route at all that was like um like a kind of a showcase route like a a bit of fun and it's still doing quite well and we've got a lot of lines that are making half a million pound or more you know food services down here We've got log trains over on Wood Island that are way overloaded, but we'd, we've been doing we've been doing some improvements to try and take care of that. We still have a number of stations that are overloaded, um, including a lot of the coal stuff down here in the middle. Um, we do need to throw more vehicles at that though. There is not a massive amount of vehicles on that one. But I'm very pleased with the improvements that have been made in this live stream. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed coming on the journey with me to, to do those improvements. Remember, straight after this live stream over on the Discord, me and three other people are going to be playing some PUBG for a little while. You can come and watch if you like. And then this coming weekend, we don't have any live streams or videos. We've got LAN party live streams. I should say, we haven't got any normal live streams for the rest of the week. 
we've got the LAN party ones. There's going to be one Friday night, one Saturday afternoon, and one Saturday night, all being well. So, that is going to be all for now. Remember, Open TTD version 14 did come out recently. I am working on a video about it. It will be out as soon as possible. But for now, from me, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you Friday night. Goodbye, everybody. Ta-ra.